Greetings, Keechlings. Keechin Prime here with my review of One Piece Chapter 912. Uh, braided Hat Village. I The braided part, I always was forgetting. It Weaved hat, you would think, would make more sense. But anyway, we got a nice start off with a double spread color cover of basically the Straw Hats at the Olympics, I guess. You got tennis, uh... Olympic uh, swimming, basketball, boxing, soccer, baseball, horse riding, marksmanship, and some kind of martial arts, and it's a really great cover. I there's a couple like little humorous bits, like Chopper's the boxer and Brooke is the soccer player, and he kicked his own head. So you know, and Zoro using three bats. <laughs> yeah, it. He's being called off the field immediately. But anyway, starting off the chapter proper, um, Tama is asking Luffy, like, uh, or no, wait, Luffy is asking, it's like, is the ace that you're talking about Port Gas de Ace? And she's like, yes, do you know him? And he's like, I do. And then my mind just went Pokemon with this. Luffy used truth. It was super effective. Enemy Tama has fainted. <laughs> um, but uh, obviously she's like, no, 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 no. Uh, that's crazy. You're a liar, big bro. And she eventually fainted, as I said. Um, but uh, Luffy's just now learning that his brother went to Wano in the first place. And we do get flashbacks of it. So... Everyone was like, ooh, Ace Wano flashbacks last week? Ooh. <laughs> uh, so, then we, we get them. Uh, but anyway, uh, the the newly named uh, Hitatsu, which is the... Or Tetsu, he, Hitatsu. I'm thinking of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! right now for some reason. Uh, Hitetsu, uh, which I messed up. He does not mean fire. I was thinking of Ho. You would think I would remember that from Naruto. But uh, Hitetsu is a swordsmith. And he uh, he was like, Luffy, you have no tact. Even if it's true, why would you say it like that? And he's like, what? Ace ain't coming back. And really, I would think a lot of this chapter would have smoothed over a lot if Luffy had just revealed, I'm Ace's little brother. What I tell you is the truth. Why would I lie about this? It would make so much more sense, but why Luffy doesn't tell that? I mean, he... Well, I guess he's never really just gone around telling just everybody about that, but still. Well, anyway, um... You know, Luffy's like, well, oh, I'm Luffy and I'm gonna be king of the pirates. And it's like, who the hell are you anyway? Because Hitetsu had been like... You're you have no decency at all. I have n what in the world are you? <laughs> You're a demon. And he mentions, you know, he says, "Oh, I'm Hitetsu. I'm a swordsmith." And he's been waiting for someone for a really long time, which I I have no idea to what he's referring to. I would assume someone who's bringing back uh, Sandai uh, Kitetsu. But that's only just my speculation. Well, anyway, he goes and tells Luffy about the village. Uh, and how, like, the inhabitants now are just him and Tama. And this all happened a year ago when X-Drake, now known as a headliner for Kaido, came and just destroyed the village, killed the five samurais that were the main protectors, and the place was just wrecked. And, uh, like, he says that, like, the only places in Wano that are anywhere prosperous or productive are the Flower Capital, which we saw the Flower Capital, I'm pretty sure, when we met the other Straw Hats that have been living in Wano for a bit. Because that's where the Shogun lives. So, obviously, he's not going to let his own hometown go to shit. <laughs> and then, obviously, where Kaido is, you know, they have their own, like, little regional setups and everywhere else is just lawless wastes that have just been decimated so 
Then he brings up that like four years ago the village was quite down on its luck. I swear this village has the worst luck since I don't even know who. I'm trying to think of a... Anybody ever watch Hey Arnold and Eugene? Th that kind of luck. Um, but like they... People were, you know, infrequently starving to death and just not really in good graces at all until one day a pirate ship washed on its shores and they tied up the weakened pirates took all their food you know and the people ate for the first time in a long time well the pirates were able to break out of the bonds because as you've already predicted or already guessed it was ace's crew ace just burned through those ropes and they thought oh no they're going to kill us we stole all their stuff and it's like nope because then he spoke with, hey, can I get, where can I get you some dessert, guys? Luffy was obviously happy about that. It was like, yeah, that sounds like my bro. It's like, wait, what did you say? I said nothing. He's not my brother. <laughs> that would have been a funny scene had that actually been included. But no, Luffy never brings that up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they were surprised that, you know, pirates were the ones who saved their village and... He mentioned it's uh, they stayed for a few weeks, so uh, then things get moving more into the actual plot of the present. Luffy acts wears some of the doctors because he wants to thank Tama by getting her to a doctor for the food she made him. Uh, Hitetsu gives Luffy some clothes, he wanted some armor too, but I'm sure that was probably stolen when the village was attacked, if there was any at all. Um, uh, Hitetsu's like, yeah, you can't go around wearing the clothes you normally wear around here. You'll be spotted like a sore thumb. Uh, or stick out like a sore thumb. I'm mixing up my metaphors. Um, and then he mentions, like, for some reasons, he can't go into town. Which, I either think that he has a devil fruit and he just can't control it, so the appearance you see is, like, his full like zone animal form <laughs> or he's wanted and he's just wearing a, a tengu outfit as some people said that he's possibly just a human wearing a disguise i don't know but uh so luffy's like well i gotta find my friends first and uh so it's like I, i'm gonna do that while i'm out and he's like also oh, i'm taking this sword you know and it's like you can't take that sword it's like it, it's cursed and it's a named blade and you've just basically cursed yourself and it was like it was made by his ancestor kotetsu which i really should have looked up why that name was familiar to me i think it was the original swordsmith that made like the like the 12 like supreme graded swords as we learn a little bit later um, and the, the sword is no, the, uh, this particular sword is Nidai Kaitetsu, which, uh, known around the world, it's actually one of the 21, um, great graded swords. And, uh, Luffy's like, huh. Oh. That sounds familiar. Where have I heard that? It's because Zoro has the Sandai Kitetsu, which I was like, why? Yeah, that's familiar to me too. And then I looked it up and yep. Uh, so yeah, Luffy's trying to get out and was like, well, you trade me yours and I'll go. And it's like, mine's name too. It's cursed. <laughs> you can't take that around. So then he just rushes off and Hitetsu is just like, Please be careful. Please. <laughs> you know, her life is in your hands. <laughs> well, anyway, Luffy gets a piggyback ride from Kyo or whatever. Chio. The, the Kuma Inu. Um, uh, Tama wakes up and Luffy informs her, Well, we're, we're riding on the dog. We're going to go get to a doctor. And then she brings up the whole ace lying thing again. You know, it's like, you're lying, big bro. Ace ain't dead. And he's like, well, everyone at the Summit War knows this. Or from the Summit War knows about this. 
Luffy, they're an isolated country. They don't know that. So, and like I said, if he would just say, I'm Ace's brother, I'm not going to lie to you about this. Believe me, it hurts me as much as it hurts you. It probably hurts me more. I knew him longer. <laughs> so, but uh, the whole thing about her being four years old when Ace arrived, I was like, you have to be around five when you first um, can start remembering things from your adolescence. So, but as it turns out, like, for the few weeks that they stayed there, she turned five. So she remembers at least from that point on. And then probably her friends and family probably filled her in. And we get into another flashback. She's five years old. She wants to go with Ace. He's like, no, no, but we'll be back, we promise, and with a bigger crew. And really, I started doing the math after I did my live reaction, and uh, yeah, he would have already been part of the White Beard Pirates. I don't know why I thought otherwise. And that's why he said, we're bringing more with us. Bringing pops that go around to try and, you know, ail or to fix any ailments that he has whatever his medical condition was and uh he's like pirates have to be strong so when we come back you've got to become a bewitching ninja girl and now we know why she wants to become a ninja <laughs> uh she's like i promise and she's beating on luffy's head and all that and it's like i don't know like i said if he would just say that one line Anyway, they reach the end of the bamboo forest, and we see some of the decimated wastelands that now is Wano. And uh, we see uh, a tiger and a boar running away from a croco shark, which has to be inspired by a, uh, a goblin shark, if you've ever seen one of those. Freaky things from deep beyond the waves. Um, Luffy wanted to go eat it. She's like, no, it, they've been drinking the polluted river water, like myself. <laughs> uh, and it's like, they're just as poisonous to humans as anything. And plus, the only people that could have, you know, dealt with them are really powerful samurais who have now just become bandits. So, and then they, you can actually see some of the, like, uh, factories and stuff in the background and Luffy's like oh those are the factories she's like yes that's where the mines and the weapon factories are and Kaido's men as well so Luffy's like hmm wh what do they eat and then she explains that both the Shogun and Kaido both have their own like private plantations and so they've got water rice fish meat whatever they want and he's like oh so there is food here well, that makes things convenient because I'm going to go there, I guess, you know? <laughs> I think that's where his mindset was going because she passes out, so he's rushing off to get her some food and some medical treatment until all of a sudden he hears someone saying, like, stop you, woman. And he's like, what? What's going on over here? <laughs> and he thought it was Sanji. Which I, I kind of found hilarious when I was reading. I was like, I don't think he would. He'd be like, stop, beautiful woman. I want to kiss you or something. Uh, I kind of went off the rail on that four kids dub thing, then I? Um, but uh, you see some people and they're like trying to go after a girl. But then this mysterious person comes swiping in from the side. And they're like, is he a samurai? You know? And turns out it's Zoro the and it's all because it's all identified by the fact that he wanted sake and Luffy immediately realized that's Zoro <laughs> Zoro it's you and he's like Luffy is that you you made it buddy and it's like where's everyone else it's like oh we got separated it's like oh okay <laughs> uh, you know they're strong people in their own right. They'll be fine. And I mean, most of them were basically together, as far as we know. I mean, that whole one scene where Sanji jumped from the boat, it was so tiny. Maybe they're all clustered together. But it's hard to account for all of them in that scene. Well, anyway, uh, Luffy notices, you know, Zoro's got some meat. And 
Zoro's like, oh yeah, there's plenty around here. Here, have some. And then Luffy, while he's eating it, is like, oh yeah, Zoro, the, mm, this is good. This is poison. And it's like, oh, that's why I've been feeling sick. No sense of direction in this man's life, including his own health. <laughs> uh. But, uh, so yeah, they move on to, you know, like what Luffy's doing out there. So Zoro, I think, was going to team up with him. It's like, oh, well, yeah, let's, come on, let's go. And then that's when Hawkins shows up. He's like, oh, Straw Hat, I guess you're in cahoots with, or you're the pirates that showed up on the shore, huh? And I guess him over there is the Ronin that's on the run. Well... Uh, well, I was on the way to the beach anyway, but you saved me some time. <laughs> but just know, in this world you join the strong, or you flee from them forever. So what is your choice? And then he mentions like how the... Or, wait, I basically already surmised that. And he he's riding with uh, three other guys. Uh, two are riding, you know, on the, like the lizard ostrich things. I never could figure out what they were. And he's riding on what I believe is a Kirin. It's a... Which, to be honest, it's the only thing that I found that was close enough to what it looks like. It's a deer-looking thing, but it has other animal features thrown in there. Kind of like a dragon, some snake features, maybe. Depending on the depictions. You know, they're all different. Um, and yeah, it's not like... I don't... I don't know. There was the whole... Uh, Sasuke attack which it was hard to determine exactly how that looks so I just found other pictures and I was like yeah that looks about right right <laughs> so but uh, it's a creature that's based around like it's a good omen and it comes in when a golden age is about to start or a powerful leader is about to take head a good leader a wise leader and I took this a couple different ways. Is that it's either talking about Luffy showed up, Momonosuke will be the new heir, or that because Luffy and crew are going to come and help kind of take down Kaido, liberate Wano, that it will bring about a golden age for Wano. That's the only reason why I think this thing is even here, because otherwise it doesn't just show up, and it's not a violent creature. This one looks pretty violent. <laughs> But, uh, so you got Zoro and Luffy, and they're like, well, Zoro, it's time to fight. And it's like, oh, but Luffy, Kinemon said not to start any trouble. And why would Zoro say that when he literally started trouble? And Luffy's like, well, we'll apologize later. <laughs> and also, One Piece is on break next week, so that was about all I really had to say about this one. It was a fun chapter bits and pieces filling in some blanks creating new blanks like the whole thing of who is uh hitetsu waiting for what is he waiting for you know but yeah this fight with um uh, hawkins should be quite interesting given that we've only really ever seen him use any of his fighting abilities once and that was very limited, so we'll probably get expansions on that. And, yeah. Luffy using a sword. <laughs> That'll be fun if he actually uses that with his Gomo powers. Uh, but, yeah. Overall, I I still only give it a four. Um, but, yeah. I don't really have much else to say. It was a good chapter. I liked it. But, uh, let me know what you think. And, uh... Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Keishan Prime, and I'll see you next time. Keishlings, roll out.